I want to take you through radical candor in the context of someone with spinach in their teeth. Someone with spinach in their teeth. Um, Michelle. Michelle, you can see that for a second. Yes. Bartender? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, let's turn off. Um, yeah, in, in hindsight, you being in the middle wasn't a great call, um, just because Michelle might talk beforehand. But Michelle's okay, stay right there, it's fine. So Michelle just had, perfect, turn around face face. Michelle just had, she just had a spinach omelet at breakfast. And she comes out of breakfast, she flashes that smile, and there is a giant Mondo-sized spinach between her teeth, uh, like Popeye size. Radical candor. Grab her by the elbow. Michelle, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this. You have a giant piece of spinach in your teeth. I would want to know, care personally, I would want to know. So I'm telling you, you got to go back to the bathroom and take care of that. Okay. It's a little uncomfortable. We all, we all sense that's the right thing to do, but you know, if her fly was down, we might, we might not actually do that. It's much more awkward. Like, why are you looking at my fly? You know, kind of, kind of thing. But you see, she didn't want to know. Um, so that's radical candor. Let's take obnoxious aggression. I'm going to give you the obnoxious aggressive. And, and I'm going to explain to you why obnoxious aggression is second best. Because she comes out, she's got a giant piece of entropy, and I go, <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Did you see this? She ever floss in her life? Oh my god, get that piece of spinach out of your teeth. It's embarrassing. Certainly, I didn't need to humiliate her to do it. It's all, it was uncomfortable, right? Even though she doesn't have spinach in her teeth, by the way. It's uncomfortable for me to do it. But, um, but she's going to go get that spinach out of her teeth, right? That's kind of what matters. Ruin is, uh, I don't want to make her feel bad. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. Jeez, that's a shame. She'll figure it out. You know, she'll figure it out. She'll pop in the bathroom. She'll see it. She'll get it out. Everything will be fine. I, just, I don't want to embarrass her. Um, problem is, Michelle goes to a series of customer meetings. She's a cab, she's part cab, she doesn't go to the bathroom for six hours. After a series of customer meetings, walks in the bathroom, sees the spinach. She's like, holy, you know what? I've had this in my teeth for six hours through all those customer meetings because I had that omelet at breakfast that had spinach in. Didn't do her any favors, right? You didn't do her any favors. A minute of in sincerity is, you whisper to your friends, do you believe the spinach she has in her teeth? I mean, does she even look in the mirror? Ever. She owned floss. I would, I would call it. I would, if I had my teeth, I totally would floss. So that's kind of what radical candor looks like in a super simple spinach in your teeth kind of example. 